So suppose you have a light source, a wall with a hole in it, and a screen. If you have a big round hole, you're going to get a big round spot of light on the wall. If you shrink the hole, you're going to get a smaller spot. But there's a limit to that because of diffraction. If you get all the way down to pinhole size, this starts spreading out again in a diffraction pattern. The central maximum, so the important part, has 85% of the light. The size of that is going to be governed by this equation. The angle that covers the radius is 1.22 lambda over d. Lambda is the wavelength, d is the diameter of the hole. What's going to control the size of the spot is the size of the hole versus the size of the diffraction pattern. If we call this distance L, then we can get X is L 1.22 lambda over D. And so the question is, which is bigger? If the radius of the hole is bigger than the diffraction pattern, then the size of the hole dominates, and making a smaller hole would make a smaller pattern. But if your diameter of the hole is smaller than the diffraction pattern, then the diffraction pattern is going to have more control over what happens. So if you increase the hole slightly, that would dramatically decrease the diffraction pattern, and so overall, the image gets smaller. Putting in specific numbers, if we say that we have a wavelength of 400 nanometers for violet light and a distance to the screen of one meter, the optimum pinhole size turns out to be 0.49 millimeters. Bigger holes than that would produce bigger spots and that get even bigger when you expand the hole. And if it's smaller than that, then expanding the hole would actually shrink the pattern. So the size of the light spot is controlled by the size of the hole and the size of the diffraction pattern, whichever one is bigger.